Ryan Seacrest is here at CES to promote the Typo 2. It's a keyboard that slides over your iPhone and iPad. Now, soon after the original Typo was introduced last year, the company was sued by BlackBerry. Now, Seacrest wouldn't comment on the pending litigation, but he did say that this device, this now family of devices, is a game changer for how he works. I like the feeling of those keys. And so, uh, for me, when I first started typing on a virtual keyboard, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose a job because I can't, I can't reply to everything and I'm saying things I don't mean to say in my replies. And I still sometimes say things I don't mean to say, but I do less of that. Now, Seacrest says he does not invest much in the stock market, but he invested in and co-founded Typo because he wanted the product himself, part of a strategy of investing in what he understands. I try to think about something that I can add value to, not just you know capital, but where I can add some value as well and think strategically about it. This, I knew, was right for me because I needed it myself. I also asked Seacrest, who has produced dozens of shows from Keeping Up with the Kardashians to Dick Clark's New Year's Eve, about whether he's concerned about cord cutting. He said that he's betting big on the power of live events. I believe that live events are probably more valuable than they used to be. And I believe that we now um, are incorporating better integration into live events and so that there can be more ad dollars there. Not that it's it's reinventing the wheel, but I think that we've we've kind of come a long way in terms of integration. What he what he means by integration is product integration, a whole new way to do advertising. Now, Secret says he thinks it's never been a better time to be a content producer, and he doesn't care where people watch his content as long as they're watching.